Oil big hauler assaulted in Saudi Arabian port by booby caught boat in the midst of continuous battle in Yemen. Dubai, United Arab Emirates and oil big hauler off Saudi Arabia's port city of Jidda was assaulted on Monday by more modest booby caught boat manipulated with explosives, causing a little fire on the boat, Saudi State TV announced, referring to an authority from the state energy service. The anonymous authority didn't name any suspects, however highlighted the reality of such criminal acts and the danger they posture to oceanic traffic the security of oil sends out and the opportunity of worldwide exchange, notwithstanding the natural outcomes of likely gas or oil spillage. Prior a delivery organization said the big hauler had endured a blast subsequent to being hit by an outer source, recommending another vessel had gone under assault in the midst of Saudi Arabia's years-long battle in Yemen. The assault on the Singapore-hailed BW Rhine, which had been shrunk by the exchanging arm of the realm's enormous Saudi Arabian oil co., denotes the fourth attack focusing on Saudi energy framework in a month. It likewise evidently shut down Jidda port, the main delivery point for the realm. The assault recharges worries about boat well-being in the Red Sea, a critical travel zone for worldwide delivery and energy supplies that to a great extent had dodged the tumult of local pressures including the US furthermore, Iran a year ago. The BW Rhine had berthed at Jidda on Saturday, persisting 60,000 metric huge loads of unleaded gas from an Aramco processing plant at Yanbu for utilization in the realm, as indicated by the information investigation firm Refinitiv. It was there that the episode seems to have happened. The boat was hit from an outside source while releasing, said Hyfna, a big hauler organization under the BW group that possesses and works the boat. The strike caused a blast and fire installed the boat, however every one of the 22 mariners on board got away without injury and firemen later quenched the burst, Hyfna said. Some oil may have dirted the water along the boat, however the organization said it was all the while evaluating the harm. It took hours for Saudi Arabia to recognize the impact. The United Kingdom Marine Trade Operations, an association under Britain's Regal Naval Force, asked ships in the territory to practice alert and said examinations were continuous. It later said Jidda port had been closed down for a length obscure, without expounding. Dryad Global, a sea insight firm, additionally revealed the impact. The U.S. Naval Force's 5th Fleet, which watches the Mideast, didn't react to a solicitation for input. The blast comes after a mine detonated and harmed a boat off Saudi Arabia a month ago. Another secretive assault focused on a load transport off the little port city of Nishtun in Yemen's far east recently. Yemen's Iranian-supported Houthi rebels have utilized ocean mines before in their long battle against a Saudi-drove alliance. In any case, the Houthis have not remarked a month ago's assault, nor the one on Monday. Dryad Global said on the off chance that it was the Houthis behind Monday's impact, it would speak to a crucial move in both focusing on abilities and purpose. Since mid-November, there's likewise been what Saudi Arabia depicted as a bomb-loaded robot boat endeavored assault at Jazan, just as a journey rocket assault guaranteed by the Houthis that struck an Aramco oil office in Jidda. From the Energy Service Authority's depiction of the Monday episode, it seemed conceivable that another robot boat was utilized to assault the BW Rhine. The episodes come after strains between the US what's more. Iran a year ago observed a progression of heightening occurrences in the Persian Gulf, the Strait of Hormuz and the close by Gulf of Oman. While the US has assembled another alliance to screen dispatching there after those episodes, it doesn't work in the Red Sea. Lately, an assault in Iran murdered an unmistakable researcher who established Tehran's military atomic program 20 years prior, an attack suspected to have been completed by Israel. The assault bumped up oil costs which previously had been ascending as of late as Western nations start dispersing COVID immunizations. Benchmark Brent Ruff remained above $50 a barrel in exchanging Monday. The Red Sea, with the Suez Canal toward the north and the Bab el Mandeb Strait toward the south, is a fundamental transportation path for both payload and worldwide energy supplies. Its flows change occasionally and now run north. Saudi Arabia as of late blamed the Houthis for unloading mines into the southern Red Sea, which could be conveyed toward Jidda. The Red Sea has been mined already. In 1984, approximately 19 boats detailed striking mines there, with just one truly being recuperated and incapacitated, as indicated by a UN board of specialists examining Yemen's war. Any new mining could imperil worldwide delivery and be hard to track down for any mine sweeping activity, raising the dangers and possibly the expense of protection for those cruising in the district. 
the arrangement of accelerations in the Red Sea will surely raise the danger profile of the area, said Ranjith Raja, the head of Middle East and North Africa oil and delivery research at Refinitiv. This could thus additionally expand the protection charges for included insurance vessels working in the locale, which would affect the expense of shipment.